Welcome back to another video. You may not know yet, but you will see very shortly that this is actually recorded on a new day because the last time I tried to record this video it was way too dark. But today I'm out here and I'm going to be testing the night vision capabilities or night flight capabilities of the new HD Zero V3 um, nano camera. So it is technically the successor to both the Whoop Light camera and the Nano 2 camera. As far as its field of view goes, much closer to the Nano 2 or the Nano 90, which is a completely separate beast. And it is the form factor really of that old uh, Nano V2. The Nano Light is kind of in between. It has a much lower field of view. It has optics that are fuzzy at best. Uh, they're not great. Obviously, they're better than analog, but they're not fantastic. And so I really want to see, does that clear optical image translate to better flight during night? So I'm going to fly both my 65 mil, which has the new V3 camera. Then I'm going to fly the 75 with the V2 camera and then repeat and fly one more pack with the V3 camera just for comparison's sake. So that way I get a good idea of this is what the new camera flies like, this is what the old camera flies like. In addition to that, afterwards I'm going to take the Whoops indoors and fly around there just to really show off, hey, this camera is that much better than the Whoop Lite, even though it is 0.7 grams heavier, which is not insignificant when it comes to a Whoop, but again, it's not on the outside of the frame. It's not a motor, so it doesn't make as much of a difference. The V3 is significantly lighter than the V2, nearly half the weight of the V2. And it's also more than half the weight, or it's reduced half the weight off the Nano 90. So the Nano 90 really isn't a Whoop camera. This really is the successor to the Whoop camera, which originally was the Nano V2, and then the Nano Lite. If you want the lightest camera you can possibly get, obviously that Whoop light still is the lightest of the light. Let's get up in the air. Let's go for a little rip. And here we go. Okay, so you see the wires. I love this little whoop. So overall, like, this is decent. I wouldn't say this is like night vision level. Cause like, I can't really see like completely in the dark, but there's enough here for me to fly. It's gonna cruise around here for a second. Oh man, that battery's sagging hard. Okay, let's bring it back. Man, even the GoPro battery's suffering. It is cold. Let's plug in the 75 mil. And realistically, the only difference between these two is the motors and the prop size. Uh, they both run the Whoop Light BTX, very similar flight controller. So the batteries are a little different, the props are a little different, but other than that, they're more or less the same drone. Um, so here, we're going to get this uh, Nano Light camera up in the air and see what we can see out here in the dark. All right, goggles down. Okay, I don't think it's quite night and day. <laughs> no pun intended. But this isn't terrible. I can still make out stuff. Like, it's so clear. I don't think it's quite as sharp. I think that new V3 has a better image overall. Like, I can't see those wires, I think, as clearly. Whoa, we're already sagging down hard. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so let me put another battery back in that new camera and just kind of do a little bit of a back-to-back. -back. But overall, I think it's actually, it definitely is better. But it's not quite night and day like I was hoping it was because it's definitely not a night sight camera. So this is not going to give you night vision, but I do think it gives you a better image overall. But again, let me double check that. Let's fly another battery. My little fingies. Okay. 
Here we go. Yeah, so it definitely, this definitely looks better. Like the image looks sharper, it looks clearer. There's a little bit less like fuzz in it. And especially up here with these wires, like I can see them. better but they're not like we're not talking about the difference between a night sight camera and a uh, <laughs> a night sight camera and a traditional camera I do love this 65 mil Little Matty flip there. Orbit action. Yeah, so I think like there's less noise in the image. It definitely has a more pleasing overall feel, and it definitely feels sharper than the uh, Whoop Light camera, the previous generation version. But don't go into this thinking that you're all of a sudden going to have like a night sight camera. I think that's. That's not what this new camera is. This new camera is just a better version. Like this looks sharper and clearer. Honestly, this looks even like it's almost higher resolution, which I don't think it is. I'll double check that if it is higher resolution uh, text on the screen. And before I land, before I run out of batteries, see if I can get this little power loop gap over here. Nope. <laughs> okay. It was worth a shot. Well, the footage wasn't night and day different between the new nano camera and the older nano camera for HD Zero. I wanted to fly it around indoors to really show you that the new camera is much, much better. The image quality is definitely superior. Uh, even if the night footage isn't like night and day different, it is also better. So I'm gonna do a little flight in here, do a little narrated rip, and as you can see, it's bright-ish. It's not super bright, but this is gonna be an environment people with these tiny whoops are gonna fly in. And so seeing the picture quality in here side by side with the Nano V3 camera and the Nano V2 camera, which was included with the um, VTX, uh, the Nano Light VTX for HD Zero. So let's get into it. I'm gonna get my goggles on and get the whoop up in the air and we're gonna chat. Here we go. Just gonna go up here around the piano by the Christmas tree. A little Odysseus's arrow. And then come up. Do a lap around the kitchen. Come down here to the horse. Power loop the Christmas horse. Shoot this gap. Oops. Little bump. And then come around. Yeah, one more time. Okay, and that's gonna be the course. So that was the course. We're gonna repeat that again with the new V2 camera. Or sorry, V3 camera. Okay, so here we go. Right off the bat, the colors I think on the V3 nano camera are just better. Uh, the image overall I feel is definitely sharper. Oops. I don't think it's going to make you a better pilot. It's not going to reduce your latency. But I think overall it just feels and looks better. A little more oomph in that one. Oh, there's a fan. Mm. Okay, I'm not even gonna attempt this. This fan right here is blowing me out of the air. Either way, this camera definitely looks better. It's sharper, 
you can see more detail, especially in like the Christmas tree. So when you're flying around, especially indoors, you just have more confidence. And so I think, yeah, I definitely think this camera looks better regardless if you're in dark or in a lighted space like this. I think overall the camera on this just looks so much sharper. Uh, in the Christmas tree, you can see so many more of the needles and the, kind of the clarity it just looks so much better. I'm not gonna say it looks like somebody smeared Vaseline on the previous generation's lens, but that sharpness is right there. And even if it doesn't come across in this video, because again, YouTube compression, all the rest of that stuff, in the goggles, it looks different. It looks very different. And I think as far as your flight goes, you may actually end up being more confident with that newer camera because you feel like you can see a little bit more. You can see those like thin objects, whether it's a wire, whether it's a stick, whatever. You just feel like you see a little bit more and you can push it a little bit harder, fly a little bit faster. And overall, I think that makes the newer camera absolutely worth it. I wouldn't necessarily race out and get this camera if you already have a bunch of whoops that are flying fantastic. I don't think it is that much better. But if you're in the market for a new camera or you want something a little sharper or you're about to buy a new camera, I would highly recommend taking a look at the new V3 uh, Nano. I don't think there's any reason not to consider it. It isn't a huge jump in weight. Yes, it is a gram. That is pretty intense on a 30 gram whoop. You're adding like two or 3% weight to the, the drone itself, but it is stationary weight on the middle of the quad. So it isn't as impactful as if you were adding a gram on say the motors or the frame. So overall, I think this camera is fantastic. And I definitely think it is worth going with it for that weight penalty if you're building a new whoop. And that's it. So now I've flown both the Nano V2 and the Nano V3 back to back, both indoors, outdoors, daylight and night. I didn't include the daylight flights because honestly they were basically the same as indoors. I personally think, because I'm not a racer, that for freestyle, for sharing content on social, that V3 camera is the way to go. It looks better, it absolutely is more confidence inspiring, the increased field of view is fantastic, gives you that crazy sense of speed. I personally like that kind of fish-eyed skateboard uh, video view, but you can actually get a different lens if you want to run it in either 16 by nine without that vignetting or you just don't want that vignetting at all. I think for racers, it may not make as big a difference, but again, if you feel that field of view makes a difference for you, get that Nano V3. It only adds 0.7 grams and it is in the middle of the quad. For me personally, I'm now gonna switch over the 75 millimeter to that Nano V3 camera as well because my whoops are prim primarily flown for freestyle and content sharing. So I want the video to be as crisp, as clean, and as clear as possible and that Nano V3 really delivers. So I am really, really thumbs up on that camera. Obviously down below, leave your comments. Let me know, have you flown the V3? What'd you think? Was it night and day different? Are you switching or are you staying with that lighter Nano light camera? Or are you completely crazy and run the Nano 90 camera on a Whoop? I wouldn't suggest that. That camera's way too heavy. It's almost five grams heavier, or not five grams. 3.5 grams heavier. As always, links down below to everything that I've included in this video and everything I used to make these videos. Give a like to this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me grow this channel and beat the algorithm on YouTube. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.